really tired. <laughs> um, but I still wanted to come on and at least do, do, do the ritual for you guys. Sick or not, she's Sick. still here, huh? Sick or not, I'm still here. I'm dedicated, you guys. Um, even though the candles are not at this point. Um, so I'm going to put some of our banishment oil, or incense, on to our charcoal. And just to give you guys a little update, um, this Sunday, we are definitely going to be doing a live in the new lair. It's not completely set up how I would like, but it's, it's definitely ready to go. Um, so we're going to be having the, the Sunday live sale in the lair. Um, I did put up a little, uh, a little reel this morning to kind of show you guys what, what it's looking like. We're, we're like I said, it's still, it's, it's still, it's still work in progress, but it's getting there for sure. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I actually, uh, did a couple resin pieces this morning in there. Um. So it's nice. It's really nice just to have my little space and have everything really organized. Um, and um, I got some new things up on the website today that uh, were nor. I can't speak really loud, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that uh, that were normally just available through the lives. Uh, but we had some extras, so I put them up today. Our divination candles, both our glass ones um, and our um, hand dripped ones. Uh, so if you're unable to make our Sundays, they're up on uh, they're up on the website right now. Uh, but let's let's get on to the matter. Of so tonight, obviously, is our full moon in Aquarius. Um, and we're also dealing with those Leo fire energies. And um, tomorrow is the last day of uh, the Lion's Gate, uh, which we put up a little uh, podcast about Lion's Gate. But uh, in a nutshell, um, Lion's Gate is a time that's really, really great for manifestation. Uh, manifesting whatever you really, you're really wanting to come into your life. And manifesting that change, uh, which really goes along with what we're doing tonight for that change, that change in yourself, uh, that, that manifestation of the new person that you're wanting to become. Um, so definitely uh, listen to our Lionsgate one um, and get into that manifestation. We've got one day left, guys, um, to really bring that stuff in, bring that manifesting in, and um, really work with those, that Leo energy and um, the Lionsgate portal to help you with all of that manifestation. So this full moon is really illuminating the work um, that we've done since the new moon. And, it, and it's helping us embody it. I got attacked <laughs> by a bug. Um, and it really helps us embody that. Uh, so what we were working on on our last new moon is bringing out our confidence bringing out our courage to become the person that we truly are, to really work with that fire energy of Leo and uh, be comfortable in speaking 
our truth and being the person that we truly are. So, it's that time to step into our new self that we're becoming and, and recognize those places where we still might need a little bit of... Sorry, Davis, Davis making faces at me to do something with the fire. <laughs> um, uh, recognize those places where we still need to shift and change some things, right? When we are coming into our new self and learning to speak our truth. Um, we can see what we may need to release in our lives. We can look at those roadblocks that we might have, whether they be self-imposed roadblocks or um, limitations that we have set on ourselves because of things that society has taught us or our family has taught us. So this is a really good time to look at those and realize that you can still work through it. This is a process. It's always a process, you guys. Um, nothing's going to happen overnight as much as we would love it to. We all know that that's not really how magic works. <laughs> it's, it's a process. It's a thing that we have to continually work on with ourselves. And it's one of those things like, I don't care how long you've been doing this, how long you've been working on yourself. Um, how long you've been doing shadow work, how long you've been, like, being comfortable, working on your self-love, all of those things. It's a continuous process. It's, there's always things that are going to pop up for us no matter how long we've been doing this. So don't get down on yourself. Don't feel like, oh, I'm not far enough along in my journey. Because it's a journey. It's a journey. It's, it is definitely a process. A constant process. Um, and so tonight we are in our Aquarius uh, full moon and Aquarius is probably one of one of the more complicated signs um, probably one of the most misunderstood I would say next to Scorpio and Virgo have a lot of misunderstanding um, but I think and I have it I have an uh, Aquarius moon so I have a I have a lot of Aquarius energy um, so I kind of feel that like there's a lot of contradictions as far as Aquarius energy um, because for one Aquarius does govern societal norms but it also governs the ideas of rebellion and individuality and why, why I think that that goes kind of hand in hand is the simple fact that it's the rebels and the rule breakers that make the changes in society. If you're just complacently going along with the societal norms, nothing's ever going to change. But I feel like that Aquarius energy is one of those hey, this needs to be done, this needs to be changed, so let's do these little acts of rebellion and let's fight for that individuality to change the societal norm. Um, prime example, if, if, society, if the societal norm had never changed, we would still be segregated. We, women would not have the right to vote. Um, women wouldn't be able to have damn credit cards. And it takes that, those rebels and those individuals to come in and to be like, no, this is fucking wrong. This is not how it should be. And then they get a little loud and they get a little crazy and, and they change the societal norms. So even though, it's getting a little hot, even though, <laughs> even though uh, Aquarius is governing of societal norms, it doesn't mean they have to stay that way. It doesn't mean that you can't go in and be the rule breaker, be that individual voice of truth and change what those societal norms are supposed to be. I kind of feel like for me, that's more what uh, Aquarius is. It's going in there and kicking down those old stalemated ideas to bring in change and to bring in new growth 
so um uh, so the, like I was saying the people who take that chance are the ones are the, who take that chance regardless if they're going to be accepted by society <coughs> by the collective society are the ones that change the way that we live and shape the way that we're going to live in the future they're the risk takers they're the people that can that can see a better future that it doesn't have to be this way always that things can change that things should change so while Aquarius helps form a society it also helps us break it down and rebuild it much better it gets rid of those old stale ideas oh so during this Aquarius full moon be really, really aware of how you are influenced by society, how we've been programmed by the world around you, what programming or ideals have been set on you that may not be your own, that you may feel that you have to have because it's what everybody says. Um, whether you believe it's a right or it's not right. Um, and again, we learn these from, we learn these from our parents, we learn these from school, um, we learn these from our ancestors, um, we learn these from social media, which is a big thing now, is everything before, um, and our peers. And again, like I said, it doesn't always mean that it's right. Just because something is what is quote unquote normal in society or normal in an area you're living in or normal for your family doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's right for you. Um, it could be right for them, but it doesn't mean it's right for you. And, and a lot of times I feel like um, a lot of us that are, are in to spirituality and are in to the betterment of ourselves um, we're the ones that are out there kind of taking the take, how do I say, taking the, the brunt of this because we're like no that's not right this doesn't feel right to me um, you know this this ideal that women should not have control of their own bodies is not right the ideal that people who don't fit into society's norm of what a gender is, oh, that's not right. I feel like because a lot, and a lot of times, that people who are, who are working on their own spirituality and working on the betterment of themselves, um, we're more open to accepting people for who they are and what they are, and being more open to people having rights and freedoms. So, while the rest of the world may be in in a different mindset, and I'm not saying the whole world, there's, a, there's been a lot of change and a lot of good, but we still have those people who are not in that mindset that we're all in. Um, it takes us to, to fight against that. To stand up and fight like not just sit back and go okay well I don't like this but I'm just not I'm not gonna do anything about it no I think that's why we're here we're doing something about it we're here to fight against it and we're here to change the collective consciousness so it's not an easy task you guys but I think that's what we all signed up for oh, oh, oh. it felt what we signed up for um, so whether you signed up for it at this life, you signed up for it before you even got here and decided that that's what you were going to do when you were going to help the world, um, that's what we're here to do. Uh, so it's not an easy task, but that's what we're, we're we made that choice to, to do all of that, to work for it and to, to make that change. Uh, sorry, I know my voice is starting to go. So... <laughs> <coughs> um. <clears throat> so
So what we want to do for this full moon, allow this full moon to help you find your individual freedom among that collective. And like I said, it's not an easy path. You're kind of forging it with a lot less people behind you, but you do have people behind you. So don't forget that you, you have a, you have a huge coven of people that feel the same way you do and think the same the way that you do. And we're here to give you our energy and we're all here to work together and, and make that change. So don't, don't forget, don't feel like you're not, you're on, you're all by yourself because you're not. Um, even though we am, may all be hundred miles apart, we're still here to work together. Um, and so think about what do you need to, to banish in your life to find your truth? What have you been carrying with you that's not yours? That's other people's, and I don't try and talk about it. Um, it's other people's thoughts. It's other people's uh, views that have been put on you. Think about that. What do you need to banish? What do you need to get rid of? Um, and you have to know. You have to know that it is okay to change. And it's okay to be your individual self. And to find that freedom. And know that there's going to be some people in your life that might not be okay with it. And those people may fall to the wayside. No. But the reality is, is did you ever really need those people? Then if they cannot accept your real self, they cannot accept your truth, no. they cannot accept your individuality, no. did you really need them in your life? Or were they just holding you back? Or was it a comfort zone? So that's another thing to think about. Like, growth is not always easy. And a lot of times with growth, people fall away. But you know what? They fall away and they make space for people who do accept you for who you are and what you are and your truth. And people who are going to stand next to you and stand behind you or in front of you for fuck's sake when you're fighting against those injustices and when you're fighting to be that good person that makes changes. So it's not always easy to make the change, but it's always worth it. Um, so tonight, we are banishing those societal norms so you can come into your true individuality. And with these energies, let you be able to speak your truth and be able to come into your own being and change the world for the better again isn't that what we're all here to do we're here to make a good change and make this world a fucking better place if we can <laughs> um, and these are things that you you can do through both actions and words I don't think it's just a one a one trick pony you know where you're you're speaking out against the, the taking away abortions rights or you're speaking out against racism or you're speaking out against um, people who don't believe that LGBTQ persons have rights. I think this is a multifaceted kind of situation where we are here to make make those changes and fight the good fight and that's a lot of things. Um, so what I did, unfortunately our Candles are not staying lit because of this wind. So let's try one little last time. Place for that black ones here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. So I took your names and I painted um, some parchment and I painted it with rosemary and frankincense. Okay. There we go. painted it with rosemary and frankincense um, for banishing and cleansing and um, I made the bundle with rosemary and lavender with all the names in there right all of the names were in here on the little painted parchment and I'm actually going to put some of our uh, banishment oil 
on it and it has been sitting on our banishment bowl here. Um, and I put hematite for cleansing and help with the banishment. Um, and then we also put uh, labradorite in there for strength and transformation. Um, amethyst for purification and spirituality. And then aquamarine for growth. And we've also got, we've got our little banishment uh, hat crescent moon here with our candles on it that aren't staying lit. Um, and our purification little cauldron. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to light our bundle here. We have juniper sitting there. I'm gonna light our bundle. So in this sense, we are using both the fire energy of Leo and also the air energy of Aquarius because we're burning that away and then the air is taking it up and it's taking it out into the And continue to use that Leo courage and that Leo fire to help bring in your true self. Because as you're banishing those society norms, use that fire of the Leo, the courage, that strength, to be able to speak your truth and to be able to come into yourself. And be comfortable. Uh -huh. And this can take a while. Like I said, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. This isn't something that next week you're gonna be completely comfortable speaking your truth to everybody in the world. But be aware when you take those steps back and don't want to speak your truth. And tell yourself it's okay. And find that courage and speak your truth. And be yourself. And embrace your individuality. All right, I know I'm cutting it short tonight, but I'm still not feeling too hot. You can tell by my voice. Um, but thanks as always, you guys, for hanging out with us. I really appreciate you all. Um, it means so much that I can share this with you guys. And, and that I feel like we are making a difference. And that we are making changes in this world. And that to me is what's really, really important. Um, I'll see you guys all Sunday at 4 in the new layer for our lifestyle. Right? I love you guys. Bless you, people. Bye, Jackie. Bye, Andrew. Jackie. I don't know who was on tonight, but bye, everybody. <laughs> I can't see. Up here. I tried to take pictures.